hello i will give you the concept of vector subtraction and the related topics what is vector subtraction what is negative vector vector subtraction by triangle and parallelogram law and why vector subtraction is not commutative and in the last of this video i will give you the application of vector subtraction before telling you about vector subtraction let me tell you about negative vector the definition of negative vector is a, a vector having same magnitude and opposite direction is known as a negative vector negative vector is also known as a additive inverse now for example if i have a vector a and this direction and let the magnitude of the vector a is 5 units now if someone is asking me to find the negative vector of a or if someone is asking me to find the additive inverse of vector a then what i will do i will just change the direction of the vector a and i will get minus a remember minus sign indicate the opposite direction and i will get the magnitude of the vector a will be remaining the same and that will be my unit and again minus sign is telling me that this is in the opposite direction and remember the sum of a plus minus a is equal to zero because minus plus a and minus a will be cancelled out and i am getting zero or i am getting null vector before telling you about vector subtraction let me play a part from my video on vector addition this will help us to understand the vector subtraction now let me tell you about the addition of vectors we can add vectors by two different law by triangle law and by parallelogram law now adding vectors by triangle law before telling you the concept of triangle law let me tell you the tricky concept of head and tail rule now if i draw a vector now this part of vector is known as a tail of vector and this part of a vector is known as a head of a vector now for example if i have a three vectors vector 1 vector second and vector third now here if i want to add these vectors before adding the vectors i will join these vectors for the addition now how i will join these vectors for the addition now to join different vectors for addition i am go going to give you a trick and remember this trick whenever you are joining vectors for addition and the trick is very simple and that is head and tail trick what I will do, I will take the first vector. Now, I will take the second vector and I will join the tail of the second vector with the head of the first vector. And, uh, and then another vector, I will take the third vector and I will take the tail of the third vector and I will join the tail of the third vector with the head of the second vector. So, this is the head and tail rule in order to join vectors for addition. Now, how I will add all of these vectors then i will use the another trick the trick is talent head trick i will take the i will i will join the tail of the first vector with the head of the third vector and this is the resultant vector this resultant vector is actually giving me the addition of these three vectors one plus two plus three and remember resultant vector is a vector which gives the result of all these three vectors let me tell you about vector subtraction similarly if we have two vectors a and b and if someone is asking me to find a minus b now remember here i need minus b or i need the negative vector of b or i need the additive inverse of b so I will take the negative vector of B is like this. Now I can find the subtraction of two vectors by two different law, by triangle law and by parallelogram law. Now here, first of all, I will find the subtraction of A minus B by using triangle law. Now first of all, I will take the vector A and then I will take the negative of minus 
B, the negative vector of B, and that is in this direction. And I will join the tail of the vector B with the head of the vector A. Now to get the result of these two vectors are to get A minus B, I am joining the tail of the vector A with the head of the vector B and I am getting R is R is equal to A minus B. Now this is the vector subtraction by triangle law. Now I can also find out the vector subtraction by using parallelogram law. Now first of all I will take the vector A and then I will take the negative of B, the negative vector of B and I will join the tail of negative vector B with the tail of the vector A and I will get the resultant vector and the resultant vector the tail of the resultant vector will be joined with the tail of vector A and with the tail of negative vector of B and this is the negative the subtraction of two vectors uh, using the parallelogram law now for example if I have another two vectors P and Q and if someone is asking me to find out Q minus P now here I need the negative vector of P and the negative vector of P is like this now I can find out the subtraction of Q minus P by using two laws by triangle law and by parallelogram law so first of all I will use the triangle law now I am taking vector Q and and then I am taking the negative vector of P and the tail of negative vector of P will be joined with the head of the vector Q. And now to get the resultant vector, I am joining the tail of vector Q with the head of the vector P. And this is the resultant vector. And this vector is giving me Q minus P. Now to find out Q minus P using parallelogram law. Now first of all, here I will take the Q vector and then I will take the negative vector of P and the tail of negative vector of P will be joined with the tail of the negative vector of Q and I am getting resultant vector and resultant vector is giving me Q minus P. Let me tell you why vector subtraction is not commutative. For example, if I have a vector A is equal to 2i plus 3j and if I have another vector B is equal to 5i minus 7j. Now here if someone is asking me find A minus B. Remember here I need negative vector of B and the negative vector of B is minus 5 plus 7j. And here I am finding out A minus B is equal to 2i plus 3j minus 5i plus 7j. And I'm getting A minus B is equal to minus 3i plus 10j. And A minus B is equal to, and I'm taking minus as a, as a, as a common, and I'm getting 3i minus 10j. Now, if someone is asking me to find B minus A, remember, here I need the negative vector of A, and I'm, and I'm getting minus A is equal to 2i minus 2i minus 3j. And B minus A is equal to 5i minus 7j minus 2i minus 3j. And B minus A is equal to 3i minus 10j. And B minus A is equal to whole 3i minus 10j. Remember, A minus B and B minus A have the same magnitude, but they have the different direction. So, because a minus B is equal to minus 3i minus 10j and B minus A is equal to 3i minus 10j. So they have different direction, although they have the same magnitude. So that's why we say A minus B is not equal to B minus A or we say vector subtraction is not a commutative.